This is the height thick Q60A, really thick boy. We got 52 mm worth of radiator and combined with those 32 mm thick fans, we got an 85 mm thick combo that can barely make it into a high end case. So let's take this monster and make it extra thick. Yeah, if I would turn them the right way. Featuring this push-pull config, we are now at 117 millimeters worth of cooling power. And fun fact, this shit even fits into the Y60. You can actually do this and believe me, it is not stupid. Because there is actually one thing I didn't want to spoil in the review of the Q60, which is the radiator is way too much, simply too much. Once the fans can push or can pull in this case enough air, the performance very quickly drops. Which is crazy considering we got 3000 RPM fans here, but on the other hand, they need to push through 52 millimeter worth of radiator. And it's really not like this is an easy task. But we can make things significantly better by helping them with another set of fans. We repeated all of the benchmarks uh, we did on the original Q60, so again on top of our 3900K featuring a 120, 250 and 320 watts preset, and the results were exactly what you would expect if you assume a radiator is too hard for a fan to get through. At 120 watts and pushing 100% on everything, the fan and the pump, my Frankenstein, the height extra thick Q60, managed to keep the CPU at 27.9 degrees C above ambient. This means that we are now sitting at the very top of the list, outperforming almost everything I have ever tested so far. And if we look at the spot we came from, this is not bad. But what about the huge noise issue? Well. Double the fan doesn't mean double the noise. It makes it slightly louder, yes, but you can turn them significantly down to get the same result. And that's precisely what happened. The red line is the height and push-pull or the extra thick, whilst the green line is the original version. Yes, the red line or the red one can be slightly louder, sure, but it's also a lot cooler. But the beauty comes when you push the fan speed down. Now the performance doesn't drop that drastically, making the extra Thick performs slightly better than the Hyperflow 240 once the fans been extremely slow. Actually, at 120 watts, the extra thick kind of looks like it's the Hyperflow with an enormous amount of headroom. But the extra thick is not done. The beauty of monsters like this comes out once you push enough load through them. At 250 watts going through the socket, the position actually improved drastically. At 52.4 degrees C above ambient, this 240 millimeter AO is almost at the top of my chart. Speak of potential performance, there are three AIOs I own which are better than this 240 in push-pull. Three. And we are not talking about other 240s. These are 360s and a 420. Adding another set of fans dropped the package temperature by almost four and a half degrees. And there you can see why I said the radiator for of the Q60 is way too much. There you can see how much more performance is actually in that thing, but it just wasn't able to come out. And the noise 2 performance line for 250 watts looks even better. Now we are coming awfully close to some of the best 360s out there. But the extra thick is still not done. At 320 watts, even I didn't anticipate to see this mess. At 70.4 degrees C above ambient, it has taken the third spot, only being outperformed by the Iceberg Thermo Aero and the Silverstone 420. And at this point, we are talking margin of error. The difference between the best Aero I have tested and this 240 in push-pull is 0.7 of a degree. And the difference to its original state now end up to 6.2 degrees. So the difference is now 6.2 degrees, which is absolutely crazy. The noise to performance graph at 320 watts looks pretty much like the 251 did, just with way higher temperature. And as usual, we let the CPU rise to 110 degrees before we stop the test, because otherwise like there would be barely any cooler that could do the test anyway, and we still want to compare stuff even at this high of a level. But again, adding that second set of fans pushed the thick Q60 from it's okay but it's just not very efficient all the way over to okay this is good with, with a huge amount of headroom. So is this worth it? 
Yes, yes it is worth it. During my benchmarks of the Q60, I was already surprised by how, let's say, low performing the AIO becomes when you push the fan speed lower. But immediately I, I just assumed that the red was just way too thick. You, you can usually put your hand behind the radiator if you know how, how fast the fan usually pushes air. And when you see that there is little to nothing coming out, you can see what is happening. And considering the radiator's thickness, it's only logical that this thing adds so much resistance that the fans just can't handle it. Which really doesn't mean that they are weak. Pushing at like 105 CFM at above 8 millimeters of H2O is a crazy amount of air at a crazy force. Don't get me wrong there. But but the radiator is like double the thickness of what we usually get. So yes, I would absolutely advise you to do this. And by the way, it looks kind of cool. Fun fact, the AIO is built with this kind of in mind. Because if you want to connect them, you can still use the leftover Nexus connector and then just route it over to the other side. You, you will need to somehow hide the wire, which is going to maybe be visible at some point, but the software will detect everything or the fan immediately. It will understand that there is a second set of fans sitting on top of the AIO. So that's like really cool. So if anybody was looking for how much performance you can actually squeeze out of the high q 60 it's ranging from margin of error, or a very big margin of error, all the way up to 6 degrees, depending on what you are trying to cool and of how much load you're putting through, which is hell of a lot. But the noise is definitely the winner of the day. But okay, I believe this should be it for my second Frankenstein of 2024, the Height Extra Thick Q60. And at this point, another huge thank you to Height for sending over the AIO and the second fan set, because otherwise, how would I have done this one? Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get that copy guy a cookie, because a, a sandwich isn't enough to appreciate all the crap he was able to come up with. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at my first Frankenstein of the year, the Push-Pull Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 420, which had way too many fans, and that, that thing was just as crazy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.